What's up guys? Here we go. The Wisconsin trip to start off Sunday fun day. So we're going to the Hayward, Wisconsin area. It's like a five and a half, six hour drive up there. We're gonna ride for a day and then come back. But it'll be fun to get out the sleds finally, especially my sled that I bought. I haven't even ridden it, so who knows? I mean, hopefully nothing's wrong with it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're gonna get her hooked up. We're gonna get the sleds loaded up. So I got all tools, sockets, if this is how much room we have. Got Obviously, if we have another sled, dude. <laughs> She's cold water out here. It's got a like a water barrier. Grant, what do you got? <laughs> Why even put it back there? There's no point. I'm recording, Grant. We finally got everything. It's like nine o'clock. Sounds like an aftermarket exhaust too, man. <laughs> so booty, it's gonna get a goddamn ticket today. No, if we try that sled, we'll get a ticket. I didn't really think about it because this sled is crazy. It's it's pretty darn loud. And if you see a DNR officer and you're flying by him, he's gonna pull you over. Fill of oil, and we couldn't see the oil level, <laughs> and it just got going. Put some stains on the trailer. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I am talking into a mask, so it sound might sound a little mess. Oh! Need a drag race sometime. There should be an airport actually like right here. They're right around here. So we came out 
back there next to that road. So we should take 15 down the road yep. and then it's gonna curve like around an airport. airport. So we have the option then to take 70 or 15. more rough this is smoother doesn't yeah. tempy it's a little more in control on the trails but just the model year change I've noticed is just crazy it's more like aggressive and upfront for the life of me I can't get this one like if I'm on a side hill it's tough to get it on its side but that sled will just tip like easy so that's one thing I got to work on because it's fun getting them on their side a little bit but I kind of suck at it so We just got back, unloading the sleds. It was fun, but coming back, man, whoo, that was a little, that was a little sketchy. Just made it back, 10,000 mile trip. No snow, halfway trip, but the old cat trip. <laughs> but coming back, what happened is we, uh, we were driving through, uh, so we went all the way to Wisconsin from Des Moines, Iowa. So we had to go through Minneapolis there. I was going under, a it was pretty icy this morning. And you know, cars were flying by me and stuff. You know, I'm this little, little grandma driver driving, and uh, I'm going under a bridge, and I'm kind of giving her some gas, and and we got a lot of weight on the back wheels and stuff. So you wouldn't think this would happen, but I'm just going easy, just light. The back wheels of the truck just spin out. I go sideways, and drift into the other lane, just like going sideways, and eventually it corrects itself. I didn't have my cruise control or anything like that, but it was uh, pants were a little wet after that, you know. So. Well, I gotta tell you guys a story. We were going and we couldn't get this thing to not stop backfiring when we were riding. He would say, well, it, when we were riding, it was fine, but after you shut it off when it was hot, started it back up, it would backfire, and that's just because gas or fumes left in it, and it just burns us out right away. That's why there's a big burst. And so we were starting it off, just one guy. Yeah. We were starting it up next to like a group of riders and stuff. Spencer yanks on that thing, it boom, falls. backfires. A group of riders, we look back and the guy's like on the ground. He's like, like oh, and he falls. <laughs> dude, he was like, he literally, he played it off so good because right when Spencer did it, the dude was on the ground that fast. Like he reacted like insane. Just, you know, acted like he got shot, but it was so funny. He scared the crap out of people at gas stations and everything, so. Luckily, Spencer never got a ticket with that thing. I rode that a little bit too. And man, I gotta talk about the difference between those sleds. It's uh, it's crazy, even though it's a two years difference, but. I think in total we went like 100 miles. We just rode one day. We got lost a ton, but it was fun up there. This is the first time I got to ride this sled, the new sled we bought, which is a 2012. This is the first model year of like this new style. It's I, I call it the more aggressive riding style. So this sled, we've noticed a couple things about this. The Articat, it sits, I don't know, it feels more like a rocket. You just sit on her and she goes back and you're, you're almost sitting more back. And then this sled, 
and, and it might be a ski adjust a couple of ski adjustments it seems like you can get on your side the side a lot easier you can easily just lean and she'll go to the side compared to that sled i tried getting on the side and i was like holy crap i we weren't in that deep of snow but once we get in deep snow it will be maybe we gotta adjust skis or something it was so nice because the seat's a lot higher and you're like more aggressive you know you can lean off to the side but by all means, I'm not a good rider on the trails or anything or any good like that, but it, it just feels fun when you're riding. For some reason, it feels like it's it's a race sled in a way, even though it's not. It just, it's a hell of a lot more aggressive, it seems like. It's just like, you feel like you have a lot more control. So, the one thing is it'd be fun to make a trip out to South Dakota if we have time. This semester will be in, this semester will, I don't have as many classes as I usually do. Usually I'm taking like 17, 16 credits or so, uh, and then with YouTube full time, so. This semester, I'm thinking. I think I'm only taking 12 or 10. So I'll have a lot more time for YouTube. A lot more time for different things. But I want to get to South Dakota or something. Some guy was DMing me on YouTube that watches. He was like, "Dude, come out to South Dakota. We got like 20 inches of snow out in the Black Hills." I was like, "That'd be fun." Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. It was fun. We're gonna try a lot, do a lot more snowmobiling vlogs, snowmobiling videos. I want to get like a. I want to get like a Bluetooth headset. That'd be cool. So I can talk to Spencer. Yeah. You can hear voices in there while you record with the GoPro. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.